actually. I haven't announced it yet. I'm working on some more Animal Crossing secret packs. I posted some things on my Instagram, which you might have seen. And if you don't follow me on Instagram, it's at Space Cadet Bell. It's in the description. You can find it there. It was pretty chill, as always. I did get to start designing my new enamel pins, which is really exciting. Sadly, I don't have them yet. Time I'm editing this still haven't come in. I haven't gotten an update from my manufacturer. But if you are interested in those, those will be available hopefully by mid-May. Um, and I'll definitely make a post about it. And also, I just want to say that I don't have much experience designing pins. This is my first time ever designing pins. So if you clicked on this video specifically for that purpose, just keep that in mind. Um, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm completely honest, and so I'm trying my best, um, but yeah, I'm just making this video solely for the purpose of people asking me what I did. I got a ton of DMs about who, where, and what I got, and all of that, but anyways, hope you enjoy! I got a new keyboard, like, it lights up. I don't know if you can tell, but it lights up, and it came in during my class last week, and I posted about it on my Instagram story. I was, like, literally doing laps around my house. I was so freaking excited. Um, yeah, but I'm gonna keep working on the enamel pin design, and then I'll update you guys when I'm done. So I managed to simplify the colors a little bit, and I have the Pantone swatches on the side. Um, I think they charge for more than like three or four colors, like that's the minimum. And plus it's really hard to get into those like small crevices, because what they do is that they, um, they make like a shape for it, and then they fill in like these parts right here. All the color layers are filled in with like, I don't know, but they're filled in, right? And then this black line is actually the metal part, and so um, I guess it's important to have them on separate layers, so that's what I did. Um, so yeah, I have a layer just for the metal, just for the color, and then just for the swatches on the side. Um, I also need to include what size I want them, so I want them like the same size as my previous green ones. Um, 1.25 or no wait no no they're one inch um which is about the size of a quarter um here it is for reference oh my god he's very tiny um and i guess that's the standard size pin um the only enamel pin i have is this that i got from an artist a while back and i don't know i've been using it as a reference i was also looking at um pins online to see like what's the standard so usually the outer layer is like, I'd say thicker, and then the inside is um, a lot thinner. I think that's just the standard for pins. But yeah, I mean, I, I kind of like how it looks. It's very simple and cutesy. I mean, it does sort of look like my art style, but then again, I'm very limited to how many colors I can use. So I think it looks pretty bomb. We have a package to open together. So, um, you guys probably know, I feel like I mentioned it, I get my sticker paper from online labels. <laughs> I used to get them from Amazon, but um, then I realized that online labels have their own site and they can use coupons as well. Um, I hope I didn't expose my address just now. If you saw it, don't screenshot, lol. That was a terrible cut. Oh my gosh. They've never sent it in this box before. Weird. Okay. Um, so I got 25 sheets of the weatherproof mat, which is what I use for my waterproof stickers. Um, I also put vinyl on top of them so that it doesn't like get scratched up. So this is like without the without the um, 
vinyl on top, which is like all scratched up and everything. Um, this is with it, so I just have them on here to like test them out. But yeah, I have the weatherproof sticker paper, and I also have this, which I've been using. It's the standard white mat, which I use for like. Let me show you. I use for like address tools and like this as well. So it kind of feels like um like just regular regular paper sort of it's just thin um and it cuts pretty well i've been using this like like before i used to cut my stickers out with this paper by itself but then i realized that it wasn't waterproof so um we switched over it real quick but yeah um i'll also include the links i'm not affiliated with them this isn't paid or anything but um just so you guys can get the links to the online labels website so you can buy your own sticker paper and i've heard that if you live in Canada or in another country besides the US it's very very expensive like import fees so just 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 be on the lookout for that I'm sorry Canadian friends okay so in my previous video someone mentioned that if I oh shit stuck. so if I put my stickers in an envelope and run it through the laminator then it should straighten it out and I feel like it did sort of um, like I said, these curl really badly, um, so I'm gonna try it out with my typography stickers, um, so I'm just putting them in an envelope, like so, and then just running it through the laminator. Um, it flattens it out, and I feel like I should put something on top of it too, so that it stays flat. Um, but yeah, I don't know why they curl so badly, it's kind of weird. Um, I also read that if you use cold laminate when you run them through the laminator, that also makes them completely flat, but I don't have that setting on this specific laminator. Um, I thought of returning it, but I don't know, I feel like it would be helpful in the future. Okay, here's the reveal. Um, yeah, they're pretty good. Um, they're not curling anymore. I'm gonna put something heavy on top. So that they stay flat for a while while they cool down. I'm glad I can actually use the laminator now. Um, it's been sitting away um, in my drawer and finally I can find a use for it. And also I was thinking of getting another storage option so that I can have these both out at the same time. Um, I know Ikea has some really good shelves but the nearest Ikea for me is about an hour, half an hour away. And I don't know, I just have to find time to go and make it. So yeah, it looks pretty good and I don't know, it feels thin. Um, I'm gonna put something hot on top. About to go get my second shot. This is the fit that we're going for with today. Uh, messy hair and Naruto shirt. Um, also, like my gauges are bigger. Um, I sized up to one inch, so I don't think I'm gonna. I don't really talk about my gauges because it's kind of weird, but um, I think this is the biggest size I'm gonna go with. Okay, so I just got back from getting my second dose, and so far it's pretty chill. Um, my arm doesn't hurt that much. I don't I want to do the TikTok arm thing, but there's too many people around and um, I'm ashamed. You know, so I'm nervioso. I'm gonna hang my limited edition air freshener from Girthy Boba Straw. Um, oh my god, I hope that isn't backwards. Um, one of my mutuals on TikTok and I finally got a chance to order from them. And this is. Hey, what food is this? It smells very strong. But yeah, it's curvy. So a couple of you guys asked me where I get my prints made and I actually order from Cat Print. Um, I found out about them through like this artist alley. Uh, 
I would say not group, but like this blog on Tumblr from a couple years ago, and I've been using them for the past couple of years. Um, so I'm just gonna unbox um, the order that I placed a couple of weeks ago. Um, I reordered some of my more popular prints because they were out of stock, and I actually got a lot of questions about um, when I was gonna restock them. So, okay. So they packed them all together. Um, I got like 10 of each and I only got like four prints. Let's put a thank you note. That's so sweet. Um, also these are, these, I, I don't know, I always eat them. I know you're not supposed to eat them. <laughs> but they taste funny. So, um, but you can wash them down the sink. I know that's what um, this store is very popular for. Is the packing peanuts. Um, you can wash them throw them down the sink and just like compose them and whatever. Um, first off, they have the Mi Hex print. It came out beautiful. Um, I think I did it off-centered. And then I reordered the Isabel ones because um, that's like one of my most popular prints. This one's came out really nice. Um, I'll do the count later. And then next you have the My Hero Academia Girl Group. Um, I don't know, this one's more popular at conventions than in my online store. Um, I feel like I, I don't promote it enough and um, I don't know, I, I just think it's cute. It's like one of the first few things I did. And then last I got, I got Minecraft Steve done. Oh, Oh shit, it's all centered. I got the Minecraft Steve print done because I feel like when cons happen again, it's gonna be really popular. Um, so I got 10 of these, and they're off centered. I didn't even realize that. But um, yeah, so I'm just gonna count these right now and then enter the stock on Etsy. So I just placed the order um, for the enamel pins and I was researching manufacturers and reaching out to them through Alibaba and I am so I just finished paying off I guess um, the invoice which was a lot less than I expected I was expecting over the $200 range I noticed that a lot of US manufacturers charge like 200 plus and I think um, I've heard from some of my mutuals that they outsource them into a Chinese manufacturer and get them done. I'm guessing because I've heard that, that pins aren't usually manufactured in the US. A lot of companies outsource them from other companies and basically they're like the middleman sort of thing. Like I, I don't know which specific companies do that, but I'm assuming it's the majority of like US companies or whatever. So I went and I got rid of the middleman i contacted the manufacturer directly through alibaba and i messaged a couple of them and i just copied and pasted the script i found on online um and then i filled in my parts i sent the same exact message to them with a couple of my um, designs so i have i sent them the png of the mock-up that i wanted with the specific colors and everything and so i reached into messaging them and as i said i don't really have that much like this is my first time ordering pens so i'm like i'm, I'm like literally shaking because what if i get scammed and the company that i ended up going with um had pretty good reviews um sort of but i was more looking into like affordability you know and i don't know hopefully hopefully nothing bad happens like i don't have that many colors so there's only four colors i only paid for four colors out okay um as i said i'm like physically shaking right now because i'm a very anxious person and i'm like i don't know i always think the worst of situations like this like i feel like i'm gonna get scammed which is not probably not gonna happen but i have this like gut feeling that something bad is gonna happen you know but i use paypal so if i do end up getting scammed i can get my money back somehow um but yeah i'm so excited to bring this Bring you along on this journey or whatever um i'm very very physically <laughs> physically worried i'm gonna play some minecraft with friends to calm down because like i don't know i'm just so on edge right now it's it's kind of bad
Why do I look like that? No. <laughs> um, we're gonna go watch the Demon Slayer movie. Um, yeah, the last time we went to go see an anime movie was, um, not movie, but we went to go see the Love Life concert in, um, February. Yeah, before the pandemic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> before, <laughs> before the pandemic. Um, I'm wearing my Tanjiro earrings. Um, I got Koveni clips. Let's get it. Uh.